Hello, I'm Ben Osborne from howtosandafloor.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to refinish a floor without sanding. Now, ideally, when you do this, you're going to have a floor that's not too damaged. It's only got surface level scratches, very superficial damage. If there's too many dents and scratches, then it needs a full sand in order to remove them and then to refinish. But this is an ideal example. It just it looks very worn on the surface. Um, and it's perfect for a, a, what I call a buff and a coat. Um, the first thing you need to do is rough off the surface of the floor or slightly key it. What you need is a 120 grit bit of sandpaper. I'm going to be using a buffer, but I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how to use um, a little bit of sandpaper if you haven't got a buffer. So what you do is you take three boards at a time and you sand with the grain all the way along. So this is just a demonstration, so I'm not going to start in there. Make sure you get into the corners. Don't apply too much pressure. Just very quickly and lightly, covering the whole area. And then once you're done, you move to the next three boards. Don't do too much so that you can't reach what you're doing. So there's the general idea with the, uh, the 120 grit paper. Now what I'm going to use is a 120 grit mesh underneath uh, my buffing machine. Um, so you basically just put this down like that, put your plate over it, And away you go. If you do use a buffing machine, you don't want to go too fast and you don't want to go too slow. You don't need to key it that much. You don't want to take too much off the surface, but a fairly quick pace is pretty much how I'm doing it at the moment. Done. Now the next thing you want to do is hoover the floor. Uh, you need to make sure that you do it methodically, smoothly, slowly and go around the edges. I'm going to demonstrate exactly how to do it. Just make sure that the floor is completely clear before you go on with the oil or lacquer.
sanded the, uh, sorry, hoovered the main body of the floor, it's important to get around the edges because when you brush, you're going to be pulling out dust from underneath the skirting and out from the edges where the hoover hasn't managed to get. So now I'm going to be apply, applying the oil. It's important to distinguish whether your floor has previously been lacquered or oiled because there's going to be compatibility issues if you put oil onto a floor that's been um, previously lacquered or when it was manufactured it was lacquered or if by putting uh, a lacquer onto an oiled floor you get the same so sorts of problems, delamination, discoloration. Um, and it's just good to get things to match up. And I know that this floor has previously been uh, oiled um, and it was originally oil uh, when it was laid. Um, so make sure that you make that distinction. Uh, also, you can learn, out, learn how to do the oiling or lacquering on my other video, how to lacquer or oil a floor. So um, let's get going. You are oiling, remember to give it a good stir beforehand so that it's ready for you to go.
obviously you want to be careful not to cover your skirting in uh, oil. is how to refinish a floor without sanding. If you found this video helpful, uh, please click like underneath this video um, and also check out the rest of our uh, videos on the YouTube channel or on our website howtosandthefloor.com. Um, 